Picking up shelving is something of a stereotype British pastime. Alan, my lifeboat, badly needed some shelving, but not of the weekend project variety. I first built a supporting floor with LD40 foam and wooden battens, then a treated plywood surface with a waterproof lining on top. My plan is to have Alan capable of over 2,000 miles without refueling. Even for a large boat, this is no minor task. As you've noticed, there was a lot of grinding and a lot of drilling. The design was based around 3mm galvanised steel, stainless or coated steel brackets between 3 and 6mm thick, and 10mm stainless bolts with locking spring washers. Well, we've just spent the last few hours trying to get these corners in place for our racking, and the most exciting bit is that we now have a bit of metal going up, not just left and right. So we have, as James was saying, three dimensions to our bespoke racking system. My favourite subject. Yeah, we're having to drill quite a lot of stainless steel at the moment. Some of these, um, some of these pretty big six mil brackets, and stainless steel is pretty hard to to drill. It's even harder than normal gal steel, and so uh, we're having to use best techniques. So running our drills slowly with um, cobalt drill bits and uh, using lots of cutting fluid. A uh, hey, why why do we need so much stainless steel? Um, because I couldn't buy any gal. <laughs> uh, no, we're, we're using stainless steel brackets on the corners um, because we needed quite an unusual type of uh, bracket and sizing that it was only available in stainless steel. But generally we're using stainless because we're going to sea. And so we need a special sort of marine stainless steel which doesn't corrode even uh, in sort of salty air. Um, but there are, yeah, there are different types of stainless steel. Some of them do corrode in seawater and sea air, some don't. So we have to get the best stuff, which is normally, guess what, the most expensive. Well, what we need to do is take about two and a half tonnes of diesel fuel to sea with us. And so for that, it needs good storage. So we've got our bladders from ATL, uh, and they're going to be basically sat on top of shelving on this rack that we're building here. This is all super strong gauss steel. Uh, and then we're going to have two uh, shelves where the where the bladders are going to sit. I plan for a 100 litre translucent plastic supply tank for the engine so I can easily check the condition of the fuel and then 400 litre collapsible auxiliaries. The initial work was done last year here uh, and now we sort of fast forward a little bit to this winter and as you can see the weather has changed a little bit. Once the structure was complete the shelves could be shaped and fitted. I could have gone for marine ply, but instead invested in construction grade 18mm hardwood ply. The undersides and middle rack are white to help reflect light, and the top a fetching green. I added a polyurethane clear coat to add some toughness. There you go, an over-engineered table. The temperatures are set to improve in the next few weeks, so I'll plan to do an episode working on the outside of Allen soon. Also, if you're interested about the Polar Expedition background as to why I bought him in the first place, Appearing here should be a shameless plug for my books. You should obviously buy them.